pass and learn many things. So to the small Christian community of Ayani, thank you for planting those seeds of faith. I owe the graces of growing up as a young Christian to my friends, the former Ultra Boys, the Guadalupe Youth Group, Second Mass Choir. And then in my university journey, it would never have been the same without the Catholic student community at Egerton University. We dance, we dance as good friends. We had CLC and many other groups, and I have very many special memories about my friends from Egerton. Thank you. CLC holds a special place in my life. It is through CLC that I learned of St. Ignatius and Ignatian spirituality. I thank them all for being part of that experience that I had that continues to nurture me to this day. Thanks to my friends from Strathmore, from Upper Hill, from Milimani, and from many other places. A Jesuit's vocation journey is shaped by men of his group and men he shares a mission with. So, thank you to my Jesuit companions, especially from my vow group, five of us represented here today. Thank you very much. Thank you to Jesuit mentors, Jesuit friends, Jesuits that are older than us, that have set the example for us to follow and to whom we look up to for what comes ahead. I can easily say I will learn to be a Jesuit priest by looking at the example of the brilliant Jesuits that are ahead of me. Thank you all for being part of my journey. Especially thank you to companions I have lived with in Arusha, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, and Spain. I would like to give special mention to Father Terry, as has been mentioned before, for guiding me for more than 15 years and who continues to be a friend and a guide. Father Paul Kalenzi will talk today and my other friends for being my companions and friends. Father Miguel Campo from Spain, thank you very much for being with me. Not here today is Father Danny Villanueva, who has been my spiritual director for four years. I would like to remember him with fondness. And to my vow group men, Macharia, Nati, Thomas, Bonnie, and Everest, thank you for your friendship and companionship. I would like to remember a certain sister Sigalia, who I call my spiritual mother. She's a Portuguese and a Carmelite missionary. And the Carmelite missionary sisters are like my sister. And I would like to recognize that and thank them for always journeying with me. Sister Carol Reed, with whom I wrote a book, is very fondly present with me here today. Finally, a vocation may be said to be personal and a mysterious calling. It's an experience that is hard to describe. When I tell my parents I want to be a Jesuit priest, they may not understand. Many friends may not understand. And in that sense, it is mysterious. It comes from God. But yet, it cannot be lived alone. It is lived with people, and those people are all of you represented here today. You represent a part of my vocation journey, my vocation story, and if I write my vocation history and story, each one and every one of you forms a part of it. I conclude with a famous African phrase, I am because we are. And since we are, therefore, 
I am. Thank you. Gracias. Asante. Pero Kamano and for the Ethiopians, Amasekenado.